Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. Well, this is a pretty interesting bit of news related to the Godzilla 2014 film. I don't know how long this has been out, but I just saw this on Amazon, and I thought this is very cool stuff. A bit spoilerific, so big warning on that. And what I'm talking about is the original motion picture soundtrack to the new Godzilla film, is of course on Amazon, but they now have there the track listings for the actual soundtrack. And those of you that have known about soundtracks in the past know that sometimes the titling of the track listings can give away certain spoilers. So again, big warning on here, some of this stuff might be a little spoilerific. And this is the soundtrack that's done by Alexandre Desplat. And I don't know if the particular tracks that I'm about to mention are in chronological order related to the film that remains to be seen, but I'll be listing them here. There's a total of 20 tracks to the soundtrack, and here has they go. The first track listing is Godzilla! Exclamation point. So that might that probably is the uh, soundtrack to the main title of the film. I guess as the opening credits are playing. The second track listing is Inside the Mines. Not really much there. The third track listing is The Power Plant. So this particular track listing probably has to do with the now very, very tragic scenes that we saw on the extended trailer that showcased Cranston's character essentially um, having to seal the door with the cataclysmic Uh, event that happened that took his wife there. Number four, the track listing is 2Q Zone. T-O. 2Q Zone. No idea what that means yet, so I guess we'll have to see. The number five track listing is Back to Janjira. So again, not really much there. The number six track listing, this is good. This one is called Muto Hatch. So again, this seems to confirm that was on one of those uh, new 30-second television um, spots where we saw there was something that everyone was hovering about in some kind of power plant that night that looked to be like, not an egg, but not a muto, but something that could have a muto. And so that seems to confirm that here we have something that is hatching, in this case a muto, so maybe that thing is it maybe that's the one that this track listing is referring to very interesting stuff check out that 30 second spot again very very brief second uh what's showcasing that weird looking thing that's surrounded by some men inside a power plant but that could be it on there number seven track listing is in the jungle which looks to be that scene where we have those um uh, military soldiers searching with their searchlights and they come across that canister or something of radiation that that guy wipes away the foam on. Uh, Number eight, the track listing is The Wave. This seems to be the scene where Godzilla is first coming on shore at night. The one where we saw the uh, waves essentially uh, on the beach going back into the sea and then coming forward of course as part of a tsunami caused by Godzilla. Number nine, this is probably going to be a huge Uh, action-packed track listing and it's called airport attack this is of course the uh, airport attack involving the muto where Godzilla stomps down on the explosion of airplanes and then confronts the muto himself so I'm sure that's gonna be again a huge action-packed particular score Uh, number 11 track listing is Vegas aftermath which again has to do with all those scenes that we saw of the Vegas destruction, including the Statue of Liberty at the New York, New York Casino. Aftermath of what? No doubt it's going to be some kind of attack, probably involving both the Mutos and Godzilla. So it might not just be in San Francisco, it might be in Vegas as well. Uh, Number 12, the track listing is Ford Rescued. Rescued by whom? We don't know yet. So it could be by Godzilla, so we'll see on there. The number 13 track listing is Following Godzilla. Kind of intriguing on there. Who's following him? Is it the Muto Research uh, Department? Is it the military? Is it all of the above? Who knows on there? 
Number 14 sounds like another huge action-packed uh, particular track listing, and that's called Golden Gate Chaos. And we've all seen the footage now that showcases what looks to be Godzilla either causing the San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge destruction, the Muto, the winged one is flying nearby, causing all those planes to plummet into the uh, sea, into that bay there. And it's no doubt it's going to be huge. So, number 15, very interesting title track. It's called Let Them Fight. That kind of denotes that somebody with some authority is saying, Let them fight, meaning perhaps the Mutos and Godzilla. In other words, let them sort it out, let them kill each other, let them cancel each other out, that kind of stuff. Because it makes sense because there's probably going to be a scene just like that. Why would the military interfere when you have these two monsters battling each other? Let them fight, in other words, let them kill each other. Uh, number 16, the track listing is called Entering the Nest. Uh, that seems interesting to me because uh, here we have a situation where instead of the fight going to the military it seems like in this case the military is taking the fight to them um, they're going into danger land in other words going into enemy land and in this case being the nest of the mutos number 17 this sounds very good the title track listing is two against one and who are those two no doubt it's going to be the two mutos fighting against one which is godzilla so we're gonna, that, that promises us to have some huge action scenes where the good guy, in this case Godzilla, is fighting not just one, but two monsters at the same time. Very, very cool stuff. Number 18, the track listing is Last Shot. Seems to be like a Hail Mary uh, type of thing on there. Number 19, big spoiler on here. Not really surprising, but again, um, big spoiler. It's called Godzilla's Victory. So, we know for certain then that Godzilla survives and wins and triumphs. Again, not really surprising, but if you didn't want to know the ending, that's it right there. And number 20, the track listing is Back to the Ocean, which again denotes all the previous Godzilla films where every time he finished his particular battle, he set off into the sunset, straight into the sea. So, I wonder if we're going to get something like that here. So... Very cool stuff. Check it out again. Go to Amazon.com. Look at the track listings. You'll see the info there. And post your own thoughts. Post your comments. What do you think each track means? What about the ones that are really mysterious? Like Let Them Fight and um, Forward Rescued. That's the kind of stuff that wait, that remains to be seen. So, Alright. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye.